Before you can run an effective ad campaign, you need to know who you're targeting. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to do your market research so you can find out who exactly to campaign. Now let's say you're trying to promote a product using Facebook ads and that product is one you found on on Clickbank. Let's find one. So let's say you're promoting something related to games. And let's just select this first one. This one is about StarCraft 2. So if you don't know anything about StarCraft 2, maybe you'll want to do some research to see who exactly you should target so you don't waste a lot of money on Facebook ads targeting people who are not interested in this product. Now let's try to find their website. Let's just do a search for StarCraft 2. And it's shown here that this is the official website. Let's just continue to the community site. And now we'd like to find out the demographics of people who visit this URL. So copy the URL and go to this other URL, Quantcast, and just paste our URL in here. Click View. And you'll see here that this is this has a small sample size this is just an estimate but let's see what they say mostly males more males and females and the age group between 18 and 30 that's where 18 and 34 I'm sorry that's where most of the visitors to that website come from look over here it's mostly people with no college education mostly Caucasian so you see here who exactly is visiting this website and again this is just a rough estimate the website that you put in here might be a, a website with more accurate estimate but the, this particular website that we selected this is just an estimate but nonetheless you can use that information when you're designing your Facebook ad let's go back to Facebook ads So you see here that we need a destination URL and that will come from Clickbank account. So let's go back to Clickbank, click promote. You would enter your ID here, your account ID. So I'm just going to make up one and click create. And here is your link, your link. So pay, copy this. Let's go back to our Facebook ad section. Enter a title. And in another video, I'll show you exactly how to decide on the title that you want to create. But for now, let's just enter some placeholders and click continue. You'll see here that you're required to put an image. So let's find an image. There's our image. And let's click continue. And with the information that we gathered from Quantcast, we can target or, or add. Now mostly males, so maybe you want to target males. And let's see what age group. Between 18 to 30, it says 18 to 34. So let's go 18 to, to 34. And that should be it. And because we're also, we know that it's StarCraft, let's type in. Starcraft here and see how that changes things. So that's estimated to reach 16. And then you can click continue and go through and just click continue. And here are the pricing options. So you can choose your currency. You can give your campaign a name. And remember that you have campaigns and within those campaigns you can have individual ads. So you can have one ad campaign that has several different ads within that campaign. So if you're going to market several different video games, you could do one campaign for video games and within that campaign you could have different ads for different games. You can choose whether to start today, 
more specifically to start as soon as your ad is approved your ad will have to be approved and I'll talk about that in another video but by today they mean as soon as it's approved or you can choose to run your ads on specified date and you could enter the dates here so if you just wanna advertise within a certain time frame then that's when you'll that's the option that you'll use click set a different bid and then this will help you to decide this will give you the option of deciding between paying per clicks which means they'll display your ad a bunch of times but they won't charge you for it unless somebody clicks on that ad and right here it's saying that you're willing to pay up to a dollar thirty eight each time a person clicks on your ad another payment option is to pay per impression so for each 1000 impression you're willing to pay up to 59 cents so you don't pay each time the person clicks on your ad but you do pay every time your ad is displayed a thousand times now when you're just starting off and you're not sure if your ad will have a good click through rate meaning you're not sure if people will click on your ad it's probably better to select pay per click so you don't have to pay if nobody's clicking on your ad so you could have your ad shown thousands of times but if nobody clicks you don't pay but if after starting you find out that people are really clicking on your ad then you might want to switch to pay per impression instead so you, you have a very effective ad and no matter how many times people click on it if you have this option the pay per impression option then you don't pay any extra just because people are clicking on it now it's difficult I'm not sure there's a way to switch between these two in the middle of a campaign or in the middle of an ad so it's recommended that you sl that you create two ads two of the very same ad but with one you select paper click and with one you select paper impression you start off with the paper click and if it's if you see that people are really clicking on it a lot then you pause that one and start up the paper impression one. Remember, they're two exact same ads, but just with different, different payment methods. And that's it for your marketing research and budgeting.